Google's coming out with a new update, and if your website is not lightning fast, you are not gonna rank well. This new update's gonna focus specifically on mobile, and slow mobile sites are not gonna rank well inside of the new Google Mobile First Index. Hi, I'm John Lincoln, and today I'm gonna talk to you about a couple simple tips to get your website running lightning fast. I've helped hundreds of websites with search engine optimization and page speed optimization in relation to that and just general web dev. So I've got a lot of great information for you today, but I'm only gonna focus on the most important items so I don't waste your time. Let's go ahead and jump into it. Okay, so item number one. First thing you want is to have a fast server response time. Let me tell you a little story. Back when I had my first website, I had it on GoDaddy. And GoDaddy had me on a server that was shared with hundreds and probably thousands of other websites. My site was so slow. I would literally sit there and wait for it to load and it would just break over and over and over again. When I switched from GoDaddy over to WP Engine, the website was significantly faster. And WP Engine is great for, for WordPress type of hosting, but there's a lot of different hosting options out there. They happen to be a decent one for, for WordPress, but make sure that you're on a good hosting environment. You've got a good server because that's gonna make your page speed a lot faster and make your website faster overall. So a lot of times it can really just be your hosting. Okay, item number two, being on a fast server is good, but it's also a great idea to have a CDN or a content delivery network because what that's gonna do is that's gonna deliver your content significantly faster. I recently migrated a couple clients over to a really fast CDN. When we did that, we saw their page speed scores increase by 20 or 30%, and that was almost one of the only things that we had to do was just move them to a great CDN. Item number three, limit your redirects. If there's a lot of redirects going on on your website, that can really slow things down. So the less redirects you have, the better. Yes, you definitely want them in place for certain areas on your site where you, you have to keep them for, for user experience and potentially for SEO value and things like that. But you don't wanna have hundreds or thousands of redirects in place because that can slow things down. Okay, item number four, optimize your images. So if you've got a really slow page, one of the main reasons and, and probably one of the top reasons that I see is their slow images. And this can happen a couple different ways. So basically when an image loads, it can be loading inside of the header, the footer, the sidebar, and those are generally global areas of your website or they're based off of an individual template. And that can be served on tons of pages. So if you have a really, really big image that's in one of these areas and it's not sized correctly, that can be slowing down tons of your pages, not just one page. Now, if you're looking at the individual page level, if you've got an image that's you know 3,000 pixels wide and it needs to load into a 300 by 300 space, that's really, really going to slow things down. So take the time and make sure that your images are sized correctly. That's going to help you a ton. Okay, item number five, avoid blocking JavaScript and CSS. You're not supposed to do it. And then in addition to that, you wanna make sure that those files are as small and concise as possible. So by minimizing your JavaScript and your CSS, that's gonna make the website a lot faster. Okay, item number six, make sure to enable compression. So what that means is when you're delivering things through the browser, you can basically compress them in a zip file and then you can deliver them and then that's gonna make it quite faster. Item number seven, enable browser caching. So what this means is when somebody goes to a page, they're gonna basically save that version of the page. If they go back to it, it's gonna load really, really quickly. So make sure that you take the time to do that. Okay, so last thing, you're gonna to wanna to reduce the number of plugins on your site. If you have a lot of plugins doing a lot of different things, a lot of things loading, and you've got you know pop-up things that are coming up, and you know a lot of different things firing on the page, that's gonna slow down your site. So, so less is more when it comes to page speed. Yeah, you might need that stuff for conversion rate optimization. I'm, saying, I'm not saying don't do it, but de definitely be cognizant that every single plugin adds a little bit of uh, latency to the site. Okay, so those are my top things to improve your page speed. If you need any help, feel free to reach out to us. We do this all day, every single day, or just go ahead and leave a comment and I'll be happy to jump in and answer any questions for you. Make sure to like this video so that I can bring you more videos like this and have an awesome day. Can't wait to see you for the next Ignite Visibility University.